What's good, y'all? So, I know it's been a minute since we had a fresh video on this channel. So as you can see, the names kind of changed around a little bit. I got two channels. I know you, the one channel changed to Shook Focus Gaming, and then now this one is just Shook Focus. I, I wanted to change those names around. Uh, one, to help people just kind of decipher the difference, right? The game and folks go, oh, they see a G next to it. That's not going to affect nothing. But the Shook Focus Digital Basics, the way the Digital Basics, the way I had the name and the title and all that all squished together, it was making it kind of difficult for people. Plus, if I change that around, um, it'll set the environment a little bit more. Um, a lot of people expect expected only only financial items to come um, with that title so with this being uh, shook focus it just gives a little more freedom uh, to be able to discuss uh, some of the things that we want to discuss so it's still gonna be very heavily based in blockchain um, and uh, in, in tech news and kind of how this tech news and stuff ties in to, uh, things that are going on in the world so just wanted to uh, open it up for you drop that little blurb so if you're wondering why the name of the channel changed that was that and i just got this new microphone so i keep checking to see how i look in the camera because this thing is big man like if i if i duck down like you can't even can't even see my face this thing is as big as my face i could probably talk like this the whole time and wouldn't nobody even notice but um just bsing around but that's uh that's that so Jumping into it today, uh, we got three articles to get to, uh, get through today. It's not going to be terribly long, but you know how we going to do it. So, first up, oh baby, tracking IVF progress on the blockchain. VChain is partnered with top Shanghai-based Renji Hospital to launch My Baby, a blockchain-based service that tracks IVF progress. IVF being in vitro fertilization. Coin Telegraph always got the images, yo. I don't know who the artist is for Coin Telegraph, but they be coming up with some stuff. The interesting discussion. What y'all think down in the comment section below? What y'all think they uh? The goal is with these hands here in this image what, what does that look like to you be interesting to see the different things that people see when they look at this image so down in the comment section below if you're in scur people be like i'm not gonna say that on the internet on the interwebs your whole life is on the interwebs so anyway enterprise blockchain v chain in partnership with shanghai's renji hospital has announced the launch of a smart medical care project dubbed My Baby, a blockchain based in vitro fertilization service application. The project also includes collaboration with VeChain partner DNV, with the latter working with VeChain to provide supply chain governance along with product and digital assurance for the project. VeChain, a supply chain management and smart contract platform, said in a post that my baby is the first service to combine third-party ivf data with blockchain technology the cryptic the cryptographically secured properties of blockchain technology create a secure and reliable environment and enhance the user experience in a way that is unprecedented in the ivf field The My Baby project aims to improve the IVF process by enabling families to transparently see all the data associated with the development of eggs into embryos traced on blockchain. VeChain believes the My Baby app has the ability to ease anxiety, depression, and stress associated with the IVF cycle. As part of the My Baby service, all information and data trails from the IVF process, including imagery produced by medical tools, to the delivery of the Zigo, Zago itself will be uploaded on the VeChain Thor blockchain. With the information only accessible to authorized users of the My Baby application. Pause. So those last two paragraphs, I don't know anybody um, who's uh, any families who've had uh, fertility issues and had to uh, go through this IVF um process 
but it could definitely it, it, it may help with some anxiety right? you know ease some stress it, it may help with that um, I don't know imagery produced by medical tools itself for me I think that sounds like that might include you know ultrasounds and things of that nature you know produced by medical tools so any of those kind of shots that you get taken uh, my baby's benefits are multifaceted allowing users to view and track the extraction labeling and scoring of fertilized eggs as well as the, cultiv the cultivation and preservation of embryos, the medium post read. The project claims to provide additional security for sensitive and private medical data by reducing the number of intermediaries between the production and delivery of the data, the data, the data data. This isn't the first time Renji Hospital has moved to incorporate blockchain tech. Back in 2019, it partnered with VeChain and DNV to launch the world's first blockchain-based intelligent tumor treatment center. So, if I had to summarize or digest what we just read, series called The Truman Show began. It featured the unsuspecting Truman Burbank, the first child to be legally adopted by a corporation, and followed him for nearly 30 years before he began to realize the truth of his existence. How do we know all this? All right, bear I don't know what I would say, but <laughs> uh, I've been telling y'all, VeChain is in everything, man. Remember, I, I dropped that VeChain video. Go back, check out that VeChain video, man. VeChain is in everything, everything everything check that out uh what we got next next up let's do let's knock this next one out since we already talking uh medical stuff let's get into some more medical stuff um indian it giant tech mahindra partners on blockchain system for tracing um I don't, I'm not I'm not going to say this word on uh, YouTube right now, man. Y'all know why. Y'all know why. I ain't got to say that. It's a word that people don't like you saying on the tube right now. Um, aiming to tackle the supply chain issues that impact the stock and expiry, expiry of C19 <laughs> Tech Mahindra and blockchain firm Statue will roll out a ledger solution worldwide. So, why do you make the doctors look so evil, man? See, y'all be y'all be trying to tell people to be calm about stuff, and this ain't that. Then why y'all make the doctors look so daggone menacing? Like, what in the world is going on? But same thing here, man. You know, we always I'm always down to debate the Coin Telegraph images you find something about that image interesting let's talk about it in the comments a mass as mass programs against c19 become increasingly critical to many governments strategies for pandemic management blockchain firms are acting fast to propose ways in which technology could offer solutions to some of the logistical hurdles involved Blockchain company Statwig, I might be saying that wrong, a graduate of the UNICEF Innovation Fund, was already trailing its blockchain-based solution ledger in 2019 in both India and the United States. Fast forward to 2021 and the global drive against C19, the company has now partnered with Indian IT giant Tech Mahindra to roll out the solution worldwide. So they tried to bring this out in 2019. They, they had this already. Oh, so they already had this prepped and ready to go in uh, 2019. But it doesn't look like they was able to get um, any movement towards getting it rolled out until now. So now they're, they're trying. They partnered with uh, Tech Mahindra. So... Ledger is focused on improving the transparency of supply chains at the vial level 
aiming to predict and prevent issues such as stock expiry, counterfeiting, quality control, and availability. Just days after an attempted swap deal between Israel and the United Kingdom failed to come together, resulting in the imminent waste of 1 million Pfizer doses, the need for such a solution is more conspicuous than ever. Statwig's solution supports the integration of smart contracts and IoT technologies, uh, that's Internet of Things, technologies in order to detect products due to, due to expire and ensure temperature control for sensitive units. By partnering with Tech Mahindra, Statwig will draw on the company's expertise in resource scale and system integration in order to support the solution's implementation worldwide. In both companies, in addition, both companies have co-developed enterprise several security models for the solution's mobile and web application designed to meet the various requirements of manufacturers and governments in different jurisdictions. That paragraph was written really weird. As usual, I'll leave all these uh, links to these down in the description below if you want to come through and check these out for yourself. Read them in your own head voice that's in your head. The challenges faced by various countries remain uneven. In the U.S., millions of C-19 doses are currently at risk of expiring this summer due to hesitancy in many states. Most countries in the global south face an even more critical problem, a lack of altogether, whereas countries in the global north account for 85% of shots administered worldwide, the lowest income countries currently account for just 0.3 of doses administered to date. So, pause. So, in my head, then, why don't you just take the ones that's getting ready to expire, right, and ship them over to the ones who want them but lack them, right? Don't why are you gonna waste food if somebody don't want to eat it and somebody else want to eat it let somebody else eat it i mean right if we i don't i don't get it i don't get it while a globally integrated efficient ledger solution cannot overcome inequality whose roots are political it can aim to help global actors mitigate the worst effects of waste red tape and delivery delays due to logistical inefficiencies. In areas where remain scarce, these efficiency gains could help to ensure that what little is available is swiftly and maximally used. Tech Mahindra's Rajesh Dudo has clarified the product scope and goals stating wastage of life-saving drugs such as vaccines should be addressed on priority and we need to come together in order to effectively find a solution here our strategic partnership with statwig will provide supply chain participants with a single application to enhance traceability and cust and chain of custody this will not only ensure safety and validity of supply, but also help in adherence to complex regulatory requirements set up by Drug Administration Authority in any country. And so every country got a Drug Administration Authority. I, only, I don't know anybody named Rajesh, so when I, uh, whenever I see the name Rajesh, I just think of old boy from Big Bang Theory. As previously reported, the UK's National Health Service has already used, at a limited scale, a system based on the Hedera hash graph to monitor cold storage. Meanwhile, blockchain technologies are being used to manage records in digital health passports. So, Hedera, I know about Hedera. Um, uh, I shouldn't say I know a lot about it, but I didn't know they were involved in this. Um, Hedera, I believe it's, is it is it Hash? Or I got to look up what it is. Um, but that's another uh, crypto. You can look into Hedera Hashgraph uh, if you're interested. 
Um, personally, I'm not uh, much. I might have like some that's just like sitting around that I, I forgot about, but I don't hold much of Dara, but it is a really good project, strong project. Um, not a financial advisor though, just bringing the news, letting you know that they've been messing around with UK's National Health Service. Um, yeah, so I mean that article is kind of self-explanatory. Um, we don't need to get into my Hendra now before we drag on too long because my stomach been growling, man, this whole time I am starving. We just gonna go right to the next one. And that is, boom, the NBA's Portland Trail Blazers to wear crypto logo for the next five years. So, I mean, crypto and blockchain, it's all just a thing that exists in people's heads, but the NBA about to start rocking the logo for the next five years. Man, people, the Trailblazers will reportedly feature the Storm X logo on team jerseys for the next five years, beginning with the 2021-22 season. Look at the hoop. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. Look at the hoop. Look at the ball in the hoop. Anyway. I'm telling y'all, man. Quentin Telegraph got the images, boy. I'm telling y'all. <sighs> the Portland Trailblazers, an American professional basketball team competing in the National Basketball Association, is moving into the cryptocurrency industry with a new partnership. And my son is home, so definitely got to move this along. The NBA announced Thursday that the Trailblazers has landed the league's first jersey patch sponsorship program with Storm X, a blockchain company allowing users to earn crypto rewards by completing micro tasks or shopping at global partner stores online. Pause. Notice they said the league's first jersey patch. Whenever somebody says the first or our first jersey, that means there's probably going to be another one, right? This one work out. It's probably going to be more, right? So just throwing that out there. Um, the Portland Trailblazers, fresh, groundbreaking, revolutionary. We're excited to announce we are joining forces with StormXIO, the first cryptocurrency jersey patch partner in the NBA Rip City. Let's see, can we play this? Yep, looks like the Portland Court. Oh, who we got? Who we got? Put a face on there. They probably couldn't put a face on there. Because if they do it's the Portland Trailblazers, you would think they'll put Dame face on there, but they probably like, I don't know. Dame talking about Dame talking about Devin. We don't know if we want to put him on there. <laughs> but okay, um, as part of the sponsorship deal. The Trailblazers will reportedly feature Storm X logo on team jerseys for the next five years, beginning with the 2021-22 season. The NBA, or the parties, did not disclose the size of the deal, but said that they signed an eight-figure contract, including an in-arena branding. According to sponsorship experts, the jersey patch deals average around $10 million a year. In addition to... 10 mil a year bro in addition to the jersey patch storm x and the trailblazers will also partner to launch their first non-fungible tokens or nfts based on the game day poster series a series featuring unique designs from local artists for trailblazers team issued in the form of digital collectibles representing the team's posters the trailblazers nfts will be rolled out later in july according to the announcement so that might even be popping this year we'll see trailblazers got some nfts coming out this stuff is coming fast y'all fast 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 trailblazers president and ceo chris mcgowan or mcgowan i don't know how to say that uh said that apologies sir said that storm x will help educate and motivate rip city around cryptocurrency and earning crypto cash back storm x was founded in seattle by calvin i'm not gonna try it and portland grown trailblazers fan simon Yu, with a mission to boost financial independence 
The firm's platform allows earning crypto cash back from more than 800 stores over 170 countries via an internet browser extension. We're honored to be the first crypto company to form a Jersey sponsorship with not only a team of such high caliber, but also with the league, but also with a league of the same statue, the same stature, you said. We're honored to be the first crypto company to form a Jersey sponsorship with not only a team of such high caliber, but also with a league of the same stature. Okay, I, I, I get it. Uh, the NBA has been expanding its move into the crypto and blockchain industry recently. In mid-June, the NBA's Philadelphia 76ers entered a marketing partnership with major blockchain fan token providers, Chili's and Socios. So, we got blockchain the NBA. Stormax, it's a real thing, man. It's not made up. Let's see. Can I, I can show... I can show y'all Stormax is a real deal. Um, <laughs> I say real deal to the first thing we go to is Twitter. <laughs> um, earn crypto every time you shop. Up to 87.5% crypto cash back from 1,000 plus shops across the countries. Man, that's a lot of cash. I, they ain't giving you that kind of, that cash back deal ain't gonna last forever. They ain't nobody giving you 80% return on your money for no. Bro, you think they giving you 80%, 87.5% cash back for no reason. Y'all think folks is doing that? We're excited to announce Storm X has become the exclusive blockchain partner of the Trailblazers. Well, we know that because we just read the article, but so Storm X, I mean, Net proceeds benefit the Trailblazers Foundation. So, look into what the Trailblazers Foundation does. Um, if you're interested, if you're interested in Stormax, I always think you should know what you invested in. So, they're saying that, uh, let's see, uh, Port the Portland Trailblazers say, on a piece of history as the worlds of basketball and art collide in this exclusive NS NFT digital poster collection by local artists so we're not talking about storm x here we're talking about the nfts that they're about to uh develop and they're saying that the proceeds from those nfts are going back to the trailblazers foundation so go ahead and look into the trailblazers foundation um if you want to know what you are getting into purchasing their nfts um uh, all due to their partnership going on with storm x and uh yeah so storm x right now Double check that and get a refresh. Storm X right now is a penny and a half. It's a penny and a half for Storm X right now. Um, it's available in a few different. Uh, let's see, Binance trading under these pairs, Bittrex trading under those pairs, Gate.io, cool coin, cool coin in the house, cool, cool coin in the house. As usual, I will leave. Uh, my invite link to KuCoin if you want to get into uh, KuCoin, if you want to open up a KuCoin account, uh, help your boy out. KuCoin's bonus for referrals ain't really that popping, but it's, it saves you on some transaction fees, I think. So, um, if you want to help your boy save some money on transaction fees, go ahead and drop, use that link in the description to get signed up. So, that is all that I had for today. As usual, we'll end this bad boy with a question. Would in vitro fertilization labs, for those y'all don't know, those that's uh, for, for couples or, or singles, people who struggle with uh, getting pregnant, uh, it's where conception happens outside the womb and then they can move the baby into the womb once conceived so it can continue the normal growth process. But would in vitro fertilization labs be getting in bed with v-chain would these strange looking cartoon medicine doctors be trying to partner to create a ledger or would the portland trailblazers be partnering with stormex for a 10 million dollar a deer 10 million dollar per year deal if 
blockchain and crypto wasn't a very, very big deal? You know what my answer is? No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, 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 I refuse, no, no. Aren't you, damn it? Aren't you pissed your wife's sick in the ass from another guy right now? <laughs>